Hello, and welcome to this series of Cloud Health Foundations. In this video, I'll show a demonstration of how Cloud Health provides cloud financial management. So let's get to it. How does everything work behind the curtains? Cloud Health takes data from cloud platforms, data centers, and third-party tools for application, security, and configuration management. Data is ingested and aggregated using Cloud Health's integrated data layer, which performs analysis on usage, performance, cost, and security posture. Cloud Health becomes a single source for multi-cloud management across environments, strengthening the security and compliance, consolidating the management, and improving collaboration between previously siloed teams of people and tools. Data and assets can be categorized by tags or other metadata and viewed in logical business groups known as perspectives. Perspectives provide a breakdown for cost allocation using dynamic groups such as line of business, department, cost center, and project. Within the dashboard view, you can see the current AWS spend for this month, last month's projected for the month, and the amount of current month's EC2 coverage. As we scroll down, you can see the cost history by service category. These are services within AWS, as well as the amount of money they are consuming per month. This particular dashboard was custom built. You can see there are other dashboards that we do have, depending on what type of information you're looking for. Now, let's say you wanted to understand the spin within EC2 Compute. We can hone in on this dashboard and view the data by cost. Here we can see we're in the month of October in 2021. So let's go to the most recent. And this is all the spin for this month. So now we can see that we have this amount of money going toward EC2 and make our budgets around what we spent the last couple of months. Again, clicking into here, you can see the account, the account that's linked to it, as well as the usage type or the instance type and how much money that, for instance, is costing to be ran. Going back into the dashboard view under Pulse, we can go into a cost summary. Within the cost summary, you can see the perspectives categorized toward the bottom based on the particular one that you're interested in viewing. For instance, I can go in and say what employee is provisioning the most amount of resources. I have it by the top 15, you can do top 5, top 10, but as you can see here, we can look from month to date and see all of our employees are top 15 who are spending the most money. Now that you understand who is spending the most money or what reports you're most interested in getting key data on, then that's where we go to reports and we can create specific flex reports. Flex reports give customers greater control with reporting that is fully customized in nature and improves collaboration across teams. We understand that operations administrators, financial analysts, and developers all have different needs and uses for analyzing data. So the Flex reports aim to help users understand inquiries to drive confident decision-making. This is where you can see the Flex reports. These are customized reports. So if you wanted to go in and make a new one, you can do so based on what you're trying to capture, choose the date range, and the measures that you're looking to provide. A sample flex report could be the monthly cost and usage for GCP compute instances. This has the different types of instances, on demand, committed, regions, as well as these costs. The last thing I want to touch on is the multi-cloud view aspect. 
And this is where it all comes together holistically. We can view each of the clouds, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, VMware Clouds. So that's VMware Cloud and AWS, AVS, GCVE, OCBS, as well as your on-prem data center. You're able to view where you're spending in each of these categories. This can be extremely compelling and very good data when you're looking at what you need to allocate for the future and what you're currently spending, as well as comparing and contrasting where your current cloud spend is. This concludes the cloud financial management piece of Cloud Health Fundamentals. Thank you so much for watching.